Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today you were actually supposed to see a foundation review, but I recorded it yesterday and then I looked through all the footage today and I forgot to plug in my microphone, so I had no sound. So that was a little bit unfortunate. So I will record the foundation review for you again. <laughs> But I can't really fake the first impressions, so it will be a little bit different, but uh, I think it will be quite a good video anyways, because it's a very talked about foundation, if you will, so yeah. So today we are actually going to try out some highlighters and stroke creams instead. So MAC sent me this really shiny and lovely box with their entire In The Spotlight collection and it is a lot of highlighters and a lot of um, stroke creams and well, I'm, I'm just going to show you what I got in this lovely box. So I might be out of frame right now, but this is how the box looks like and it is basically a lot of strobe creams and then we have the highlighters in the bottom. So I will show you what I got in this box and yeah. So basically what I will do today is that I will swatch all of the strobe creams and I will also swatch all of the highlighters. So I'm pretty sure that you have all seen these highlighters because they're all over Instagram and they're just very I mean they're, they're very beautiful but there's not many of these that you can use as a normal highlighter like an everyday highlighter if you know what I mean but I just feel like it's fun to try it all out and if you're thinking about going and buying one of these highlighters uh, hopefully this video will help you to decide what you want. So this video wasn't really uh, planned or whatever, but uh, yeah, it will be fun to see where this video will take us. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm very familiar with their strobe creams. I use the silver light one to put in my foundation all the time because I love the glow that I get with it. And it's also very moisturizing. So I sometimes also use it as a primer. So they are very like, you can use it for anything basically. You can also put it on your cheekbones whenever you want that extra high highlighter because if you first put on a cream and then put on your highlighting powder I mean people would be able to see you from space so first up we have the shade red light and red light is kind of I mean like it says it's kind of red and pinkish and it kind of gives you that rosy golden tone that you definitely want for summer so like none of these strobe creams are very pigmented so you can use them all over your face without feeling red <laughs> so the next one is the shade silver light and silver light is obviously a silver shade and this is basically the one that I use the most in my foundation I have not really tried out the others that much because I wanted to do this video so I didn't really want to touch them because I wanted that new feel kind of thing so the next one is the shade pink light so pink light is actually the same product or whatever as the god this is so messy the original mac strobe cream so they just changed the packaging they didn't change anything else so if you're a fan of the normal mac strobe cream then uh this is the one so the pink light is just like, kind of like a nice sheen. You can't really see anything. You can't really see the pink or whatever. So the next shade is the shade gold light. And gold light is, uh, it's definitely a gold shade. I would definitely recommend this for a darker skin person. It looks beautiful on darker skin. So I think that I will use this a lot when uh, summer comes and I have a good tan going on. So then the last and final shade is peach light and I would definitely say that this is a lot more uh, orange it's not really like peachy 
ish. <laughs> if you want those peachy kind of tones, I would definitely go with pink light or red light. So, but I mean, this is gorgeous as well. It has a little bit, I mean, it looks a little goldish as well, but I just feel like if you really want the gold, you, you're I mean, you're obviously going for the gold light, but um, I would definitely consider having this, you know, putting this on top of my foundation and then put on my um, highlighting powder. That would be so gorgeous because this is a little bit more subtle, I feel like. So yeah, that was all the strobe creams. So now we are moving on to the highlighters and I am so excited for this. You don't even know. So yeah, we are going to start off with the shade Double Gleam. And I am pretty sure that this is the one that everybody is talking about right now. Ever since Nikki Tutorials did a, I think it was a monthly favorite. Uh, she was talking about this and this is this is just basically a normal standard kind of highlighter it is it has a golden sheen to it and it kind of reminds me of Mary Luminizer a little bit so like I said I will start off with a double gleam I think it's called yes and uh, yeah we shall see how this one looks on my cheekbones I am just going to start highlighting okay this definitely reminds me of Mary Luminizer this is um I mean this is okay this is nice and this is you know you could wear this every day if you want to I feel like the, it's definitely more of a everyday highlighter so the next one is called show gold so show gold is definitely a lot more it has some pink sheen to it i would definitely use it to mix my highlighter and my blush so because the other one was so uh, subtle i guess you could call it i am actually just going in with a uh, it's not even damp but i'm just going in with a sponge and just trying to trying to get rid of it or matte can you say matte it down Yes, so like I said before, this will definitely look beautiful on top of your blush. Kind of like blending the blush into your highlighter with a shimmery product. So I'm just going to take a little bit more because it was so beautiful. Oh my god! It's so cute. Okay, so the next one is called Beaming Blush. And this is a, I mean, this is much more of a goldish kind of shade. So this basically looks yellow on me. I don't know. It looks a little weird. <laughs> I, I don't really know what I would use this for. I think that it would look much nicer on darker skin. So the next one I know for a fact is uh, bluish, purplish. And it is the Soft Frost. So it's basically white in the pan. Uh, <laughs> on the skin though, it looks... Um, it looks um, purple blue. I am not very excited to put this on my cheekbones. So I'm pretty sure that you have all been waiting for this moment. I haven't, <laughs> but uh, yeah. <sighs> okay. Do we love it? So yeah, we're just gonna put on just like even more and just like build it up. When you feel like you need to stop, just don't. Yeah, we are actually just going to put it on the other cheekbone as well because that's what we do today. We are ruining our makeup. No, we're not ruining. We're creating art, people. I will not be single after this video. Let me tell you, people will propose to me. I will have kids. My life will just finally start to make sense. Haven't you heard? Purple mustache, it's the new thing. Yeah, girl. Oh my god. Some highlighter on that nose. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's the move. Yes. A little bit on that chin, girl. 
You better rock that purple ching girl. No, but on a serious note though, I really do think that this would look gorgeous as an eyeshadow. I know that you can't really take me serious right now, but I do really think that it would look gorgeous as an eyeshadow. So. <sighs> So yeah, I think that that was everything for today. So yeah, if you feel like you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, it would not really help me today, but <laughs> whatever. So if you want to be a part of this madness and this family, please subscribe to my channel. We are now closing in on 17,000 subscribers. Like what? Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Now I'm on the outside